So we have our CSV file. Now mine already defaults to open in Excel. You may have to uh, set that yourself or go open up Excel, then open this up. You can also do this in Google Sheets or Google Docs uh, or whatever you have on your Mac. It should work in a similar way, but I'm gonna use Excel. That's what I have. Uh, I think I need to save it as a regular Excel file. So I'm gonna go save as Excel workbook. I'll put it right in the same folder. Now I'm gonna highlight all this. It may have a problem with these E's. So maybe I'll just go to the, the last value before it uses scientific notation. So I highlight all that, insert. And on my version, uh, I have the charts right here. I'm gonna do a line or area chart and I'll do the, I think that'll be good stacked line. Line with markers, that should be good right there. And you can see right here, later on, we're gonna be more concerned with efficiency. And you can see that as I increases, the orange is the X as the number of times counter was called, or it was incremented, which is the number of times Fibonacci was called. It goes up, 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 way up uh, right here. And that generally means things are gonna go incredibly slow when things get bigger. Because you can just imagine if I went to 50, this Y value would skyrocket and make things go incredibly slow. So that is the slowness that you're experiencing. There's a good chance you couldn't go to 42 or 43. If your computer's not that fast, you may have had to stop at 30, something like that. If your computer's crazy fast, maybe you can go to 45 or 50. But at some point, no matter what computer you have, it's gonna slow down guaranteed. It's just a question of what value will make it start to go slow.